Hey everyone and welcome back to some more of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So last time I came back to Ardos, the little boy. We had completed all three of the support quests in which we found the Stele. Um, sorry, we found three pieces of Theseus armor and we managed to enter the labyrinth. We also found, found from the swordfish that the Stele is the key. Um, the boy has the key, which is gonna help us enter the labyrinth, so that's pretty useful, I guess. And before I enter the labyrinth, I kinda wanna just see what stuff we got over here. Labyrinth of Lost Souls. He waits. Open the labyrinth door. Labyrinth. All items benefit a specific playstyle based on the type of damage they increase, melee ranged or assassination. This can't be Minoan. What is this? Walaka, it's real. All right, so before I go and fight the Minotaur, I want to reset my abilities real quick. So we're using the armored hero set. Definitely we want this. This is his gauntlets. Braces of this is. All right, so let's see. We want the shield break ability, rush assassinate ability, and spread shot ability. That does not make sense. I'm gonna get the spread shot for sure. I don't think I'm getting shield break though. Alright, six cents definitely we need. Arrow master we don't need. Devastating shot is super useful when fighting bosses. Multi shot we don't need. Rapid fire can be super useful. Overpower bow strike can be super useful. Archer mastery definitely useful. Alright, what else? Arrow master, I can skip that for now. Spread shot, let's get that as well. Alright, over here. Definitely second win. Super, super, super useful. Bull rush, I can skip. This I can skip. Heavy. Charge heavy attack, I can get. Weapons master, gear master. Alright, this I need. Bow power attack. Super useful. Battle cry of fairies can be super useful. Other than that, I'll get this one as well. I'm not gonna go for fire damage. Uh, since I'm not sure if fire damage is gonna be useful against Minotaur. Fury of the Bloodline, I could go for this one, but 
I think I'm gonna s stop right there. Alright, in the other one, Shadow Assassin, Rush Assassination, Hero Strike definitely I need. So I'll get that. I feel like Vanish can be a super useful ability as well. Uh, call to Arms, Death Veil, vale. Slow Time can be a super useful ability as well. Ghost Arrows of Artemis. I still have 4 ability points, so I'm gonna fight the Minotaur, and if required... By the gods! Oh shit. We can get one more ability. Used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. One unspent ability point. Let's get revelations as well. Game's not gonna like let me explore the labyrinth anyways, so <laughs> a creature of rage did this. I think Ghost Arrows of Artemis would be super useful here. Been this way before. <sighs> All right, that's for the stringers.
Dude, I'm shit scared right now. Reached the point where A ring. Ardos might want this. All right. So the string was supposed to lead us to the father. Minotaur. And here we go. Oh! 
I kill the Minotaur? Water would be so proud. First try, by the way. Let's go! The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I'm sorry, Hardos. Sorry? Why? Hardos, the Minotaur was no ordinary monster. And Petr isn't just a regular guy. He's a hero. He might have been your hero, but... He must be alive. Find him! He's dead, Ardos. We can't raise the dead. But we can move on. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Better ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Mistios. Without Pater, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Artos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's go home, Artos. I'd like that. Minotaur oh, yes, figurehead. I understand. Uh, and you're uh, flexing my muscle. Amazing victory. Love this game, dude. I absolutely love this game. Not even kidding. Not even. This game is so insane. Alright, let's see what we got. So, this I got from killing the Bright One Cyclops. Typhon's Mace I got from killing Typhon. And now we have Minotaur's Labrys. Holy shit. There's so many of them now. But, with this set I will stick to Hammer of Jason. And, yeah, for the other sets we'll see. Prometheus is Seeker, Nicolaus is Sword, Arachne Stringers, Sea Force of Peleus. We're gonna see what else the game has in store for us, so... Detailed stats. Toggle headgear. Unfortunately, my camera is just hiding a face on that screen. Pretty badass armor set this is. Like... Even though the Minotaur must be doing a lot of damage, it felt like with all of these bonuses, like look at this bonus, 30% on all resistances, right? So 30% damage reduction, 40, I have plus 42% total armor engraved on it, plus 6% health, we get plus 19% warrior damage, as it is, over here, we stack up plus 28% chance to ignore half damage, plus 25% headshot damage, of course plus 30% all resistances are already there. So unique modifiers, 20% with devastating shot ability, I didn't take devastating shot, 20% with spread shot ability, 20% with rush assassinate ability, 20% with shield break ability, 40% when attacking from behind. Weapon modifiers, damage with swords, 
plus 3% damage with heavy blunt plus 24% so I've increased this stack up a lot by a huge number because that's what I generally use when I'm fighting a monster damage with headshots plus 167% warrior damage plus 154% as of right now critical hit damage is plus one or two point five percent so basically double the damage as normal double the normal damage poison build up I didn't think I have it here defensive modifiers armor bonus is plus 172 percent range resistance is 38 percent melee resistance is 53.7 percent so that that's a huge melee resistance not not a small one chance to ignore half damage is 28 percent so also with elemental resistance of 44 percent so this this basically armor set is what made it so easy i feel like plus 30 percent total armor plus 30 percent all resistances plus 42 percent total armor plus six percent health plus 20 percent melee resistance plus 14 percent health plus 28 percent chance to ignore half damage like the stats are just insane 20 percent damage with Devastating shot, 20 damage with spread shot, 15% fire damage and build up. I think I can change this one. 20% um, damage with rush assassinate ability. Artifact fragment. Prize of the Minotaur. Taken from the Minotaur. This is a sphere pulsing with energy. Let's see, what else? In the ability sections, I still had one ability point left, which I did not use, so... Artemis Arrow, I don't think I could have used Artemis Arrow. I did have the Devastating Shot ability with me. Oh, but I just never got the chance to use it, so... That's that. My overpower ability was definitely useful with my heavy blunt. Uh, I did damage the Minotaur with it. Not to mention all the gold. What? Artos? Uh, you didn't steal anything from the Mystios, did you? <laughs> Would never know. Hammer of Jason. Dude, this armor set is just OP. I was just worried that Minotaur was going to be a little bit more challenging than the Cyclops, but I, I guess Minotaur was less challenging than the Cyclopses, the two Cyclopses that I've fought so far in the game. Right, so unfortunately guys, this is where I'll be in the video. In the next one, I'm going to continue my journey of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and we're going to see what else the game has in store for us. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video.